everyone. We are back again. It is April 4th, Tuesday morning, and here I am just doing an education video on showing support and resistance levels that I put in on a few volatile stocks today, and uh, today I want to show you these levels. Right here we are looking at PRTK. They had good results for uh, phase three uh, clinical trials, I believe. And right here you can see that the uh, stock opened below my resistance level, but it popped above it on heavy volume, heavy bulls coming in, heavy buying. And uh, But lo and behold, you will see that the stock drops below. The reason is, is because the smart investors know that once the stock opens below a certain level, even if it pops above it for you know, a good 10, 20 cents, it's going to come down on that first candle. And this uh, stock actually dropped 90 cents, guys. It was, uh, it was a great short if you're able to get into it. And uh, up here next, we have VRX. I actually have two support levels here. And on this first support level, it is kind of weak, but I want to show you this. If, uh, if you look closely, you can see the 10-minute candle bouncing off that support level. And the reason why I was skeptical about even making this trade is because when you're watching the 10-minute candle bounce on your level uh, once, twice, three times, usually that means that the bears are in charge. They're going to push through your levels, and it's going to go to a second support level. So right here you can see that the support level is being tested and the next 10 minute candle does open below the level so you know that uh, right here you do not want to be going long. And uh, once it breaks through that support, now that same support level becomes resistance. And here you can see now this candle is trying to get through on the, on the bull side but cannot break through for uh, price action to the upside. So now you're going to pretty much expect the stock to go down further. And at this moment, what you want to do now is start to search for that second support if you don't have it in. Uh, because right now you know that it's going to go down. It already pierced your first support level. And right now, if you want to get in the stock, you're looking for the next support. So we can see this candle right here um, start to break down to the downside. And now what we're doing is just waiting for it to go down into uh, to the second support level. And uh, once it gets to that second support level, depending on the strength. Now, this is what I look for when I am trading is on how strong is that support level. I knew the support level right here wasn't a strong support level, but it was decent enough to see if it could change the sentiment of buyers. So right here, guys, we can see my second support level. And we are watching the price action come right down into that support level. And we are watching a little bit of a bounce. But what we want to see here is if the pierce is going to be more than 5 or 10 cents below this level. And also, uh, a second confirmation would be if the, if the next 10-minute candle opened below this support level. And then that's where we have to uh, go back and search again. But here... What we want to see is we want to see the balance in the next candle open above this level. And once we do that, once we see that, you can buy in and put your stop out right below that candle. And there's the bounce, guys, right there. And that's what you're looking for. There are two ways to play this trade. Either you can make it a day trade and go long, see if you can get 40 to 50 cents out of it, or you can just look for your uh, 10 to 20 cent bounce, put your stop out below that last candle, and uh, your risk to reward ratio is two to one, maybe three to one, depending on how you play it. And uh, that will be the perfect trade for this uh, trade right here. Okay, we are back a little bit later into the day here at VRX. And I just want to show you guys that the support level held perfectly. And uh, as I said before, you just put your stop out right below that last candle, right when it hits your support. And this is where you play it to the long side, guys. This is where you make uh, some serious money. Either look for the 10 or 20 cent bounce or just take it all the way up, you know, for a nice day trade and just, you know, maybe put a trailing stop, maybe, you know, 10 or 15 cent trailing stop on it. And uh, that, that's how you make your money, guys. To be a successful day trader, you have to know your support and your resistance. And you need to know how to find these levels. Once you know how to find these levels, that's where you become successful. Okay, guys, I have one more chart that I want to show you today. This is CYCC. This came across my scanner. I was looking for uh, volatility stocks, and this one came through. This stock is jumping 50% today. I'm not sure what was going on with it, but the first thing I do is I search for resistance, and I found one perfectly right above the $10 level. Look at this 
daily candle come right to my resistance level. This is a perfect level, and I'm so thankful that my strategy is working day in, day out. Look at this. And right here, we're watching the daily candle, and there's the touch against my resistance level right there. This is where you make the trade. You get in on the short side, you put your stop out right above that uh, resistance level. This way, you know, you're keeping your losses short, and uh, you can take this down, you know, as far as it can, you can take it, or you can look for that 10 or 20 cent drop. Usually that's what I do. I, usually I'm in and out pretty fast. Or you can make it a day trade, depending on how you feel, you know, how much downside there might be. Uh, either way, you're, you're uh, keeping your losses short, and that's the best way to trade, guys. Okay, that does it for today. Thanks for watching. I will be posting more live videos. Please come to my channel. I will be uh, posting daily, and please subscribe. See you soon.